video, we're going to take a look at some of the dimension tools that you have um, on the dimension panel um, in, in Autodesk Inventor. So once you've created your, your different views, I mean, the go-to is just the dimension button over here. So if I select that, you'll notice there that I can basically generally dimension everything that I want. So selecting you know, my vertical or my horizontal constraint, uh, if I select between two lines, you'll see there it will go and uh, dimension over there for me. So as you can see there, maybe from there to there. Okay, now, you know, maybe if I'm doing these baseline dimensions, I mean, this is quite tedious, you know, this um, will take me quite a while. So there are some automated tools to do this kind of scenario over here. I'm just going to go and delete these. Okay, and then, so the next one we can take a look at is actually baseline dimension. There's two different types. So this is baseline and baseline set. Baseline, it'll create each one, but there'll be individual dimensions. So if I had to change one, it wouldn't change the other. Um, baseline set, um, it creates, a, it kind of like groups everything. So all the properties will be the same. So if I had to change the precision in one of the baseline set dimensions from two to four or two to zero, it will then change all of those baseline um, dimensions over there. Okay, so if I select this, a uh, quick and easy way, or you know, the slow way would be to go and select each one individually. Uh, right click, continue, select where you want it, select, right click, create. So that's very, very important when working in inventors. Right click, continue, right click, create. That right click, create is the one that a lot of people find as a stumbling block when creating dimensions in inventor. So now that was the sort of long way. So what I can do, baseline, and I can just basically Windows select everything, right click, continue, okay. And once again, because it's different um, lines that are created, I can actually either create baseline sets at the top there or on the right hand side of here as well, okay. Um, it looks a little bit funny, so let's just try that again. So I'm gonna go spacebar to reenact it and then first select my baseline and then I'm gonna select three over here, right click, continue. Okay, that looks much better. So you can see that it doesn't have that funny um, baseline kind of sitting in the middle over there. Remember, right click and create. Okay, so that's your baseline uh, you know, dimension over there. I'm just gonna go and delete that. Then I've got my um, chain dimension. Okay, oh, sorry, my ordinate dimension. So with the ordinate dimension, uh, once again, you've got ordinates and you've got your ordinate um, set. I'm gonna actually go through both of these because they look a little bit different. So first of all, you select your view and then you select where you want your, your base point to be. So it's gonna be that point over there. So zoom in a bit. Then what it asks you, select your uh, sketch geometry. So select this one and I'm gonna select those three as well. Right click, continue. And then if I go to the right hand side there, you'll see there, how it creates that over there. Okay, so right click OK. If I need to go and select one of these, you'll see I've got these little grips that I can go and select, and you're able then to go and just manage how these look, so just the way that it looks. Now, if I had to go and do this, I mean, if I wanted this kink in on everything, I mean, this is, you know, quite tedious, you know, it doesn't snap either, which is a, a bit of a pain, but, you know, that's inventor. Um, go to the idea station if you, I mean, I'm sure there's a, a idea station idea to get it automated. But let's take a look at what the, um, I'm just going to undo you quickly. Let's take a look at what the ordinate set looks like. So, right, go there, ordinate set. Okay, when I select my origin point, okay, notice there that that symbol doesn't appear. Then I'm going to select these four lines, right click, continue. And then you can see over here what that looks like. Okay, so you know, first of all, you can see there it's a little uh, little empty circle, and you've got the dot. Okay, so you probably would have your your um, your arrows. Okay, so I've just set mine up a little bit differently. Um, so let's just take a look and maybe add some over here. Okay, now you'll see, and now it actually automatically does that kink over there because it's too close together. Okay, so that's quite nice. Um, you know, sort of this over here. So there we go, selecting my dots and doing those little kinks over there. Um, right click, create. Okay, so there I've got my ordinate sets over there. So taking a look at your baseline, your ordinates. Um, and the last one we're gonna take a look at is the, the chain dimension. So with the chain dimension, okay, once again, chain and chain set. Select your first one, select all your different lines, right click, create, and there you can see how it chains it across okay once again you know i've got my my dots uh, signifying where the um, you know where the dimension goes from uh, you can have your your arrows your normal arrows um, as you go along so yeah so just a quick video on how to use your dimensions or you know primarily on baseline ordinates and chain dimensions thanks very much for watching